Hey, this is Cassandra Shaw reporting for Kids Pick Flicks, and I'm here at the premiere of Disney's Planes, a spin-off of Cars. In just a few minutes, the stars will be touching down on the runway. Get your engines ready. This movie, Dusty, he's afraid of heights, but he likes to fly. Mm -hmm. So what's something scary that you would do if it weren't so scary? Uh, I'm afraid of interviews. I don't, oh, okay. I, especially interviews by like young people. Oh, I'm sorry, are you, are you no, scared? No, I right have now? to do them, I have to do them, it's my job. Much like Dusty, he has to fly, but I am terrified of an interview. I mean, I will, at any point, I will just go out and that'll be it, I'll be done. Are, are you shaking right now? Oh, oh, oh dear, oh, I scared oh, him see, to I'm, death. No, I'm all right, okay. see? But I'm just telling you, that's what could happen at any given moment with my fear. Um, I used to, I'm not now, but I used to be afraid of roller coasters. I've uh, conquered that fear. I've gone to Six Flags and read X2, so I'm a man now, officially. No, um, but let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I'm afraid, I'm afraid of, like, weird people, like, in my house. Not in, in your house? In my house. Yeah, like, like who? I get up at, like, one in the morning to go, you know, walk down the hallway and get a glass of water. I'm like, Steve Buscemi. And he's like in my hallway. I love you, Steve. We work together. You're the best. You're creepy, but you're the best. So there you go. Now in the movie, El Chupacabra, one of the planes, throughout uh -huh. the entire movie, he tries to serenade a Are female plane. Are you trying plane. to ruin the film for me? I haven't for seen it yet. <laughs> I know you've seen it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Are you good to and then, and then what happens is the one plane says to the other plane, Okay, so go ahead. I'm sorry. What ha El Chupacabra does what? He tries to serenade a girl plane, and he writes a song to her. He composes a poem. Oh, that's sweet. So have you ever gone to any crazy measures to get your love's attention? I do. Um, every night, uh, right around 6 o'clock, I will come home, and I'll walk in, and I'll see my beautiful wife standing there, who I've been married to for 16 years. And I just look over at her and I go, I hope dinner's ready because I'm hungry. That's very and nice. So, and that just melts her heart every night. And then I'll, sometimes I'll follow it up with something really sweet like meatloaf again. You are such a sweet guy. Yeah, so. <laughs> I didn't sing a song. Okay. <laughs> what did you do? I didn't sing a song. Uh, let's see. What did I do? I don't know. I think the craziest thing I do to get a girl's attention is probably dance. Dancing. But that's still like, you know, I wouldn't go crazy. Maybe just a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of that, 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 that. So a great dancer. I'm sure oh, girls will love you. What has any guy done to you to get your attention? Um, I, I remember in elementary school, I got like secret admirer letters and I was like, who is this from? And I had to try and figure it out. But then I, fig I finally figured it out and they like, I got like secret, like little gifts and presents. I was like, who is giving me these? You're so popular. Did you find out who it was? I finally found out. Yeah. What was your reaction? Um, I remember because I was younger, so I was like, oh, this is so gross. But <laughs> it was cute though. Now I'm like, oh, that was so sweet. And in the movie, Dusty's friend, Chug, he creates these merchandise for Dusty, like bobbleheads, keychains with Dusty's face on it. So if what are you a big fan of and what do you have of like posters of them? Um, I'm a big fan of like One Direction and Harry Styles, but I more so like Harry Styles and One Direction. I like One Direction, but like he's my favorite. So like at school at Jesse, we are making bulletin boards, and mine is like a pictures of Harry and stuff. So yeah. So you're a huge Harry Styles fan. Are you? Have you met him before? No, but I really want to. I really want to. Well, I hope you're gonna meet him. Oh my gosh. Well, now I just started collecting vintage Mickey Mouse figurines and like anything vintage that's Mickey Mouse, and like I want to buy this new like little phone that has Mickey Mouse on it so I look at everything I go to vintage stores and just like scour for that I love vintage um, I'm a crazy fan I'm a crazy fan of Michael Jackson I'm a crazy fan of uh, Kevin Hart too but you know Michael Jackson is you know gone now so I think his 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 uh, merchandise I have a lot of that stuff I have books I have uh, posters and things so I have a lot of MJ Merson are they up in your room in a pop yeah they're in some of them are in my closet now in the movie, there's so many other type of planes. There's a crop duster, uh -huh. biplane, helicopters. So if you were animated as a plane, what type of plane would you be and why? Uh, I'd be a paper plane. A paper plane? That's yeah. Interesting. But not even a really well-designed one. You know the kind where you throw off the stairs where it just kind of peters straight down to the ground and the tip bends? And then you try to put some masking tape on it to help it, but that doesn't help the cause at all. It just gets worse and worse. And why would you be a paper plane? 
Uh, just because I've, I, I, I'm not very, I'm not engineered well. I'm not, I'm not built very well. I'm just aerodynamically not ready to be airborne. The stars are leaving the runway to head inside the theaters. Planes takes off August 9th. I'm Cassandra Shaw reporting for Kids Pick Flicks. Thanks for flying with us.